Energy is the ability to cause a change, and there are many types of changes that energy can cause to happen. For example, changing an object's position, changing the temperature, changing a substance's state of matter, these are all changes, and changes require energy. There are five types of energy that we will learn about. Mechanical energy, electrical energy, light energy, thermal energy, and sound energy. We'll use the acronym MELTS to remember these types of energy. Mechanical energy is the energy that is related to an object's position and motion. So mechanical energy is related to the location of an object and how it is moving. For now, we will focus on relating mechanical energy to the motion of an object. So we'll relate mechanical energy to its movement. So you just need to remember that mechanical means movement. If you see something moving, that means mechanical energy is involved. That might be spinning or rolling or walking or running, swimming or crawling, but any of these movement words would mean that mechanical energy is involved. Electrical energy is the energy that travels through the wires of a circuit, and we normally just call this electricity. And anytime you see something plugged into an electrical outlet, it means it's using electrical energy as its energy source. Electrical energy travels through the wires of a circuit. And as we said before, every appliance that gets plugged in uses electrical energy. Light energy is a type of energy that travels in waves and allows us to see. So that light energy might come out of a bulb like in this flashlight, or it could come from the sun. Light energy from the sun is so important that it has its own name, solar energy. Thermal energy is more commonly called heat. Thermal energy might be produced by a fire, or thermal energy could be produced by a hot plate or a heat lamp. When air is heated, it rises. So these candles are warming up the air, and those currents of warm air are rising and making the pinwheel turn. So whenever air or any fluid is heated, that heat causes it to rise. So I want to spend just a minute talking about something that can be pretty tricky for some students. All bulbs produce light and heat. Some bulbs are mainly used as a source of light energy, but others are used as a source of thermal energy. The bulb is used to produce heat. Now on the left, I have a table lamp here. Now if I took my hand and stuck it under that lampshade and grabbed the light bulb, it would hurt because that light bulb would be very hot. But I'm not using this table lamp to heat up the room. This table lamp is being used as a source of light. But on the right, you can see a heat lamp. Now, even though there is some light coming out of this bulb, that's not what I'm using this bulb for. You can see that I've got two pots of soil with thermometers in them. I'm using this heat lamp in an investigation to warm up those pots of soil. I'm using it to produce heat. So this heat lamp is being used as a source of thermal energy. So you have to understand that just because you see a bulb does not mean the answer is light energy. Sometimes we use bulbs to produce thermal energy, so you have to pay attention to what the bulb is being used for. Sound energy is a type of energy that travels in waves and allows us to hear. Sound energy is pretty easy to recognize. If something's making a noise or a sound, then it's producing sound energy. When we talk about an object's energy source, we are talking about the energy going into the object. Electrical energy is the energy source for things that plug into an electrical outlet. So you can see here that this hot plate is plugged in. So electrical energy is the energy source. When you see solar panels like those pointed out here, it means that the energy source is light. These solar panels are absorbing light energy so that energy can be used to do other things. When we talk about the energy produced, we are talking about the energy coming out of the object. The hot plate gives off heat, so the hot plate is producing thermal energy. 
So it's important that you can tell the difference between the energy source and the energy produced. Electricity is going into the hot plate, so electrical energy is the energy source. But heat is coming out of the hot plate, so thermal energy is the energy produced. So let's go through a couple of examples of identifying the energy source and the energy produced. So here the teacher is turning the generator to put energy into the circuit. This movement means that mechanical energy is the energy source. And light is coming out of the light bulb. So this means that light energy is the energy produced by the circuit. Now electrical energy is going through the wires in this circuit. And it's very common that you'll be able to identify other types of energies that are involved. But when I'm talking about the energy source and the energy produced, I'm specifically talking about the energy that's going in and the energy that's coming out. And so that's what I'm focused on here. Mechanical energy is the energy source. That's the energy going in. And light energy is the energy produced. That is the energy coming out. So here I have a solar panel that's attached to a buzzer. The solar panel absorbs light. And that means that light energy is the energy source. The buzzer produces a sound. So sound energy is the energy produced. So once again, electricity is involved in this, but it's not the energy that's going in and it's not the energy that's coming out. When I talk about the energy source, that's light. That's the energy going in. And when I talk about the energy produced, that sound here, that's the energy coming out. I hope this video has helped you understand energy a little better. Keep up the great work, and I'll see you next time.